hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing you how i created this flyer in photoshop yes guys how i created this flyer in photoshop just easy steps like i've always done in the previous video with mine getting this right so if you have not subscribed to my channel now is the right time to subscribe to my channel hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notification so you miss any of the videos i'll be dropping anytime soon all right so let's get started the first thing you need to do is go to file and um, click on new like this okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a name so it's going to be basically invasion and um which stays at five height stays five resolution 300 of course color mode rgb and uh, background content transparent because i want to define the colors myself and uh, my background by myself so i'm just going to uh, press d on my keyboard to revert these colors because i'm using my default colors so i'll go over to solid colors and i'm just going to move the slider up here like this and i'm going to select this color right it's also subject to change later on so you can copy my color code and um, press ok right okay so we have this nice looking background here like this so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going over to my resource file the resource file is in the description of this video just click the link to take you to where uh, to download the background form or the resource file form so bringing this in i'm just going to this is somewhere in Unilac, right so i'm just going to change the blend mode to overlay and i'm going to reduce the opacity like this and uh, I think this is okay bump it up a little bit okay i'm just going to zoom closer i see things well okay i think this is nice We're good to go right position this well great okay so next thing i'm going to do is going to bring in my second element for this design which is this realistic paper ribs right or you can call it tongue papers so I'm going to open the Adobe file, double click on it, of course it opens in another tab like this. So when it opens up, what you're going to do is very very simple, just um, hide this background, this one here, right, just hide it. Close this up and you're going to do drag and drop, very simple. So drag and drop here like this, let me zoom out so you see what I'm doing well like this. Okay, so a few things, uh, Ctrl T. I hold down shift and I'm going to expand this like this. I'm going to take it up here. Position this up here like this. Alright, great. So I'm going to double click on the name like this and I'm going to change the name from object to, um, let's see, paper down. Oh, okay, this is paper up, right? So I'm going to use this as paper up. Of course. I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this. So let me close this up. Close this up. Close it. Okay, before I do that, let me um, insert an element to this. So I'm going to my resource file. So I just do all of this once and for all. So I'm going to where I have my resource file. I'm going to drag this wooden texture inside here like this. And um, I'm going to position it here like this right but before i press enter i'm going to rotate it um, 90 degree so if you don't get your degree well here like this by rotating with these arrows you can just come up here and just set this to 90 degree and when you get that you can either press ok or ctrl t again um, to increase it fill up the whole portion like this where i don't press enter and um, of course we want to clip it so right click on it and select create clipping mask so it clips to the paper itself but this is not looking fine so i'm going to move it upward like this when i move it upward i'm going to change the blend mode to soft lights let's see um, i'm going to be using vivid light right but i'm going to reduce the opacity like this this way and um, yeah i think we're good to go for the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to press ctrl u on my keyboard that's for you and saturation reduce saturation like this so it doesn't have any color so this way it blends 
nicely with what we have there so i'm going to make a duplicate copy of this and i'm just going to change this before i do that let me just bring this click on flip vertical like this and bring this down here this way hold down shift while you increase like this if you don't hold down shift you are just going to be doing things on your own right so i'm just going to make it like this and position it this way so this is going to be paper down paper down paper down paper up yeah whichever way you want to rename it just make sure you know which one is up or which one is down right so um i'm going to leave it this way i'm going to stay directly on this layer while i go into my source file but i'm going to rename this cool right so it's not just a random name and everything you need to be intentional about your layers in photoshop right so i'm going to bring this um next element in it looks like a fire don't worry it's not it's not church cru um, crusade program we're doing so it's just to add an extra few so i'm just going to set this to 90 degree like this and i'm going to zoom this up here like this right to get something like this don't worry about the flames and all of that it won't be very very obvious so with this done i'm just going to go over to blend mode and i'm going to change it to screen click on screen now i'm going to add a mask to it. it's layer mask right and i'm going to select my brush and i'm going to reduce my flow this is too big. reduce my flow to 36 and of course i'm working on the black so i'm just going to reduce it like this like this and double on the areas like this okay so there you go and um, i'm going to select the two of them and um, move it upwards like this okay so directly above this um, layer i'm going to create a new layer and with my text selected i'm just going to type out something and um, i'm going to change the font first so i'm going to type in the font i use which is montserrat I'm going to change the color to white good so I'm just going to type and um, select it by pressing ctrl T like this so I can come here and change it over here I'm just going to do my manually ctrl T and I'm going to increase the size like this All right not too much just like this and I'm just going to position this here well like this okay and I'm going to make it duplicate copy of it ctrl J and I'm just going to type invasion here like this Ctrl T and I'm just going to make it smaller so it doesn't uh, go beyond what I have as campus. So select both of them and uh, make it slightly bigger like this. Okay, so directly on top of this layer I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to select my text tool and I'm just going to type So I'm just going to move it in place while I make it big like this, not too big, just big and at least make it visible, right? So I have campus invasion, prayer, worship and uh, praise. Make it slightly big like this and um, 
I think uh, let me make a duplicate copy for this I'm gonna drag this upwards and I'm just going to use this to write name so it's going to be Unilag Campus Invasion right so I'm going to make this big or change it from 10 put it at 14 still small I'm going to change this here put it at 500 I think this is ok and we're good to go Okay, so I'm going to select the invasion and the campus. What I'm going to do is I'm going to convert to shape. Still selected, I'm going to merge them together. So this is what I've just done. So I've just got to, I've just merged the two of them to one shape, right? So I'm gonna close this. Alright, so I'm still working on this. So I'm going to bring in element 23. I'm going to position it here like this. So what I want to do is bringing this in. I'm just going to right click on it and click on create clipping mask. You can see the nice effect that this has created on it, right? Now, in case you don't like the colors, you can just go over to your hue and saturation. Make sure you clip it to element 23 that is being clipped to the invasion and just move the slider around to change the hue, right? You can also click on colorize to get different color variations that you want to. So this way it's flexible and it's very very easy for you to change things around. Alright. So let's move on in this design. The next thing I'm going to be doing is um, okay, so I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to group them and I'm going to name this um, main text. Right? Great. Okay, so the, um, that's out of the way. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring um, the picture of um, the main person here and I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller, not too small. I'm going to click enter. I'm going to increase the main text, select the unilag, the prayer and everything. Select the main text. You do this by holding down, holding down the control key. Right, move everything together so you see why it's very very important for you to group your layers or arrange your layers well All right so selecting the image click on camera raw you open this up now we want to make this image punchy and um, make it um, sharper so just follow my settings um, in contrasts um, reduce the highlights Contrast used my values and shadows also use my values. My texture is all already at 93, clarity at 17. This is the first step you can see before and after, right? I'm going to do that again, but this time we're going to do things differently. So this time I'm going to the vibrance, add some vibrance, add some textures again, but not up to 100. And I'm going to work on um, the highlights like this contrast goes up and shadows goes up I'm going to go back to details and uh, the big elephant in the room sharpen this 45 and voila you get this nice clear sharp image see how clear it is and how sharp it is right so this is how you can um, add some clarity and how you can make your pictures actually pop in photoshop so right um, the next thing I'm going to do is create a layer above this and I'm going to revert this color to white I'm going to go over to my brush and uh, of course make it smaller you can increase your size of brush here and use your bracket key also like I've just done now to increase here I'm going to put in some whites and um, you can see my flow is set to 45 right so i'm just going to go behind the image and flip this back to black and add some shadows to it 
So I'm just going to go gently reduce the size of the brush, increase the flow to 85 and gradually add some shadows to the image to make it more realistic. Alright, shadows here, put here and uh, all in a bit to make it more realistic, right? Go to the top layer back and then um, revert to whites and um, add some whites to these areas like this. I'm going to go to the up and down and um, Ctrl T, I'm going to increase it, take it up slightly like this and great we're good to go you can see how this has turned out nicely create a new layer above this and what we're going to do is bring in the text i've taken our time to type all this so it won't waste all our time in on this video so i'm just going to bring this and Position this here like this, click enter, and there we go. Right? So, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go over to color balance and copy my settings. I'm going to add some reds and some yellows in the midtones. You can use the same value I used. And on the highlights, I'm just going to go over to the yellow and a little bit of red and of course the shadows i'm going to go towards the yellows right and that's it right so to crown this all up what i'm going to do next is i'm going to create a snapshot Control shift alt plus e creates a snapshot shot for you right i'm going over to filter make sure you select texturizer under texturizer select brick and uh, copy my settings 115, relief 1, and this is the effect to create on it. So, when we are done with this, click OK and boom, add some extra effects. So, what I'm going to do with this one now, I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to select this as the color of my brush, and I'm going to select my brush, click, and I'm going to change it to screen. Click also, my flow is set to 85. And you can add some extra lighting this way. All right guys, this is how I created this flyer in Photoshop with just these few steps. I hope you've learned one or two things from this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video.